what is up guys and welcome back to the channel thank you for tuning in to another video today we are back working on the audi it did come back again with issues um that the first place didn't even say anything about because they were probably trying to soak me for more money right they would have i would have kept going back they would have added stuff would added stuff um so basically some of the issues that i'm going to tell you right quick okay so this fender on this side after me spending hundreds of dollars on paint um it has to be replaced because of the rust here and the rust down there um that accumulated so i got a fender back there i'm gonna put on here it's gonna go on here um i got i got uh, a strut on this side that's leaking so i got another strut back here that i'm gonna put on just to use one i got uh i'll show you back there and um what else we got folks we got uh we got an oil pan we have to change the oil pan got to be changed uh basically the nut i have um was stripped and um the like the drain plug on the oil pan was stripped and the oil pan itself the gasket is leaking so i got new gasket seal we're gonna redo it uh i got another oil pan from scrapyard too what a time we had taking it off first time ever doing it uh we got it done though we got it off and now we know how to take it off of here easier and more efficiently so with that said right now i'm working on getting the bumper off so that i can get the lights out get the fender off um then uh, he's working on the strut and then we're going to work on the, the other part together plus i'm having an issue with my lights um they're not adjusting these are self-adjusting lights uh i don't know if you know what i mean by that but audi uh you don't adjust the lights um they self-adjust themselves so there's a sensor that goes in the wheel uh, see if i can show you just from here um right there hopefully you can see that this here part and see it wraps around here and it goes up to there uh that's a sensor and sometimes they go bad so i'm hoping the one i got uh isn't bad and we can just throw it on there and hopefully it works right um but anyways uh we got the oil drained that oil looks pretty rotten i knew the oil was bad i was going to change the oil but that wasn't a concern at the moment the concern was to, to get the salvage inspection that was my main thing that's done now all right guys we're back at her um i got the bumper off so anybody that hasn't done this before um there's where the fog lights go okay if you take there's like a little cover cap that goes over to here it's black you take that out and if you look right here there's a bolt up in there and that bolt goes right up into this okay that's how that part and then you look here and right here you got three bolts on each side three bolts on each side and they go into like where the fender is right that's where they go in and you bolt them in there and uh same on the other side right so we got that i got the fender near off here the only issue is is we got the jack stand up on the fender so i'm gonna have to wait until um until uh she's pretty rotten so i don't know maybe i can just pop right out of the way there um yeah so i gotta wait until we take the jack stand down um At least I thought I did. Oh, there, that's out. I'm gonna unclip that. Um, and then you got your bolts that are down behind here, uh, right down there. It's hard to see because this thing's in the way. I'll have to move that and get that out of the way. But then that fender will come off and we'll put the new one on. Um, she was pretty rotten. I didn't realize how rotten it was. It was all rotten all up uh, under here too. Like she's She's pretty rotten. I didn't realize it was that bad, right? So, anyways, we'll get that off. He's over there working on the, uh, the strut still. And uh, we'll get that off too. And All right, guys, we got the fender on. It's all back on. Lights are in. Bumper's back on. Um, I know, starting to look pretty rough, right? White, black, fucking gray. 
<laughs> whatever. Um, we'll uh, work on getting the grave stuff back. We ran into a problem with the strut. Uh, let me show you here. Now, I'm pretty sure that all I have to do is a simple little thing, but uh, uh, this is the new one. And you can see there where it's got like bolts here on the, I'm trying to show you while I hold the camera. It's got bolts on the thing. Um, this one just has a round part, right? So what I'm gonna have to do is I like this, the strut itself is the same. Just the top mount is different. So I think I should be able to just change the top part and it should work. So I'm gonna do that tonight because it did get laid on us here. Um, and we pretty much had enough of this anyway. So I'll just kind of fool with that tonight by myself. Um, see if I can't get it released. I don't know. Maybe not. I might not even touch it tonight. I might just leave it for tomorrow. Uh, I got the battery out of the car. We're going to take that in. I'm going to put that on a charge. Um, see what happens. But anyways, we'll catch you guys in the morning. What is up guys? And we're back at it again today. And we already got the strut on, the new struts on, tires back on, um, the new struts in there. Hopefully you can see. Um, we got it on. I, I just, we went to the scrapyard, we picked that up and then we went um, right back, put it on before I even grabbed my camera. I just, you know, I was in a rush this morning to get that, but we actually, we it kind of got late on us and then, we got her go we're getting her and now we're working at the oil pan under here as you can see i got some bolts out starting to get her um these here ones up in here aren't too bad on this side but on the other side here now like if you can see up in there it's hard to get in at them with uh anything so we got i got this here, it was at least Adi was smart enough to make it so that you could use a ratchet on it, hey, I'm right? Not, I'm not. Um, so I got that one almost out. I don't know if you can see it right, but we're gonna get them out and then we'll move on and we'll get the get the the back bolts out. There's a bunch of back bolts here, and then you have to jack up the engine. Uh, you loosen the two motor mounts, jack up the engine, and you take the oil pan out. So. I'm not going to talk too much about it. I'm going to get right to it and I'll come back and show you once we got her out. Well, guys, we're a little bit farther. Um, we're still working on that oil pan. I tell you right now, when it comes to an Audi taking out an oil pan, it would be nice if we had power tools, um, like, you know, like a little power tool wrench to get that one bolt out. That's been I, literally, I think we've been at it three hours. Um, it's so awkward. But uh, anyways, we did get the sensor changed. Hopefully that'll fix one of my issues. Um, I don't know yet. I won't know until, um, until we can start the car again. But so, so far we got the sensor fixed. We got the fender on. We got the strut on that side on. Um, we got the new battery in there that's in there and we're still working on that oil pan we're trying to do other things like we're taking turns at that and when we're not doing that we're taking taking turns at other things you know uh, doing other things but we're getting her we are getting it it's just it's a lot of work you know and uh, sometimes sometimes it's just the way it goes, right? You, sometimes it's a little harder and you got to work a little more at it. But we are getting it. We will get her done. And with that said, we're going to keep working here on this 2005 Audi that I will never, ever buy another one. Uh, they just make it so hard. Like, why couldn't it be like a Honda and just everything easy, right? Like, oil pan just drops and, you know, you just... <laughs> uh, I don't know like if you know Honda you know what I mean when I say that but this here no no it's it's made the way they make these German cars is so that you have to take them to the dealer that's the way they make them right because the dealer has the special tools for this car right or 
you know, or any other model of Audi. But we are getting it. We are going to keep going at it. Um, we still have one more other thing that has to be done after the oil pan. And I want to tell you right now. See this here thing? Uh, try and hold on, I get it open here. Okay. Uh, see this here thing here? This is uh, a seal. Okay, that seal goes at the back of your transmission for your dry shaft. That seal for this car was a hundred. $140 for that. You tell me right now, right? Holy. <laughs> that is a lot of money for a freaking seal. Um, it's the first one I ever replaced. So, I've never ever replaced one before. Because um, I never had a vehicle that needed it. Not that I've ever, never, you know... I just never had a vehicle that needed that done. But with that said, we're gonna keep going. What is up guys? We are back at it again. It's the next day. Um, we ended up, what have we spent? Probably about six hours on the oil pan trying to get it off. Uh, still not done. We have like five bolts left um, that are in an awkward spot. Then we will get that off and then we'll be able to show you. Um, it just got laid on us last night trying to do it. It was. I'm telling you right now, it's the worst oil pan I've ever, ever, ever done in my life. Like, literally, I changed an engine out of a Ford Thunderbird. Uh, what was it? A, what was it? A 99 Ford Thunderbird in less time than it's taken to take this oil pan off. Now, you tell me, why would they make a car that is so hard to take an oil pan off? Right? Like, literally, it's, it's awful. It is awful. But we are getting it. Um... I got my battery pack out. We're just gonna put it on there just to charge the battery up again because um, the battery should be good, but we're just gonna make sure, right? Keep it keep it charged up while we're not able to start the car um, so that it doesn't ruin that battery. I should just have it in the house, but we need it out here. Now I got the garbage truck coming behind me, gonna make all kinds of noise. So with that said, we're gonna get started and we'll show you once we got her off. All right, guys, it's almost 1.30. We started at 9 this morning. Plus, yesterday, uh, we spent four hours at it. So, that's what, something like, like eight hours into it now. So, five yesterday, and then three so far today, three and a half today. So, yeah, about eight and a half hours into it. Um, these bolts here at the back, at the back of this pan here okay and then there's there's also uh i don't want to pour the oil there's still some oil in it um let me show you on the new one here well not the new one but the one we're gonna put in there um see all these bolts here at the back okay well those bolts at the back are <sighs> Let me get under here and show you. Oh. Uh, underneath the support, the, uh, what do they call that? Uh, chassis support, I guess. Uh, I, I'm so tired of working on this car, I can't even think straight, but uh, they're basically under this, right? So it is hard to work at any oil pan. Like, you know, we got the engine jacked, so it's it's up so that we can do it. Um, so we got the oil pan off. I got it all clean. Hopefully you can see that. Let me uh, uh, shine this crappy flashlight there, but we got her all cleaned. Um, and we're gonna put the new one on. Now, the other issue is too, is before you take the oil pan out, there's this plastic guard thing that goes in there. That has to come out first in order for the oil pan to come out. Uh, if anybody knows what this is, comment below and let me know. Um, I'm almost hesitant not to put it back in, but he's, 
he's saying that he's saying not to put it back in and i'm saying not to put it back in so we're just not sure what we're gonna do yet um you know uh, i'm tired of this car i uh, i'll tell you right now anybody changing an oil pan on an audi best thing i'm gonna tell you is don't bother don't bother um take it to a dealership spend the money you know like we're nine hours into it and now we got to put the other one back on how long is that going to take us you know are we going to be another nine hours at that right and then that plastic guard thing whatever it is if i do decide to put that back in am i going to be able to uh, what am i looking to say uh and we're going to be able to put it back in without breaking it and then have to take the oil pan out again and, uh, and all you, don't want, you don't want that to break but anyways we're going to keep going here see if we can get it it is cold it is windy i'm like uh, you know it's the wind that's cold right like the wind's got us just frozen out here we need a garage folks we need a garage so if you're watching this video please support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and uh you know that'll help us out we'll get more viewers then the channel can start working on building up and building up but with that said we're going to keep going on this and we'll get back to you soon all right guys so um i got the oil pan back up under there Let's see if i can show you here real quick see i got the oil pan back up in there got some bolts under it um basically it's cold out man we're just we're done for the day right like we've been out here for my four hours four hours yeah something like that working on it it's just cold man it's not for one day I'm gonna call her a day and we'll get back at her tomorrow so with that said we'll catch you guys in the morning well guys it is the next day and i'm back at it again and um i don't want to tell you how many days it's taken to do this here but i'm pretty much done right let's get under there i'll show you if i can um it, it actually it hasn't been days what did i say i said yesterday we were at like 8.5 or something hours um i've been out here since roughly nine o'clock it's now i think 11 so i'm almost uh i'm almost 11 hours at it and i'm almost done right so it's it's not it's not bad the, the biggest thing is is uh having the tool yesterday saved us uh see try and get under here where's my tool at oh right here yesterday saved us when i went and i, I bought this here right here so that tool right there is like the lifesaver see because this part bends and a lot of the bolts where they're at like i said they're up behind the chassis here right and you can see them there right on the back uh, see i still got one out there that i gotta get um but the rest of them i already got them all they're already all tight and ready to be done um all these bolts except one i think there's one over here i don't know did i end up getting it after all or or maybe i did end up getting it yeah, I think I got it. Um, I got them there. I gotta check. I'm trying to make sure that I did get everything. But, oh, uh, yes, I did. I did. I got them all. So, the only one left is that one there. Um, I gotta tighten that. Now, that's got an Allen key on the back end. So, it's kind of tricky to do, but I should be able to get it. Um, we'll get that done. And then, after that there, I got this here, piece that's got to go back on, but I'm going to go, and, uh, uh, there's a gasket for it, I'm going to go see how much the gasket is, and get a new gasket for that, and there's also a gasket for here, for this piece, right, see if you can see it there, and up here, that's gonna that has a gasket now i was thinking for that there maybe i'd just put the uh the gasket seal on that too and then that would solve that problem right which i may just do because it would probably 
you know, I already have the gasket seal stuff, so it would probably be cheaper, right? But this here one, on the other hand, now, it's all plastic, so you'd rather go with the, uh, the, the gasket seal, so that way that you don't break it right because you don't you know if you put that gasket seal on next time you go to take it off you may have trouble and end up breaking it um but i gotta that's gonna be tightened on too but oh it's been a long process folks let me get back out here oh, <laughs> it's been a long process it's been cold it's <laughs> It's been fun, but we're almost there for that there, and then we're gonna move on to the dry shaft seal. Um, actually, I should have stayed under there and showed you that too, but I'll show you that after. So with that said, let me finish getting this uh, bolted up, and I'm gonna run to the hardware, see if I can't get that stuff, and then I'll come back. All right, guys, so we got the oil pan all done. Uh, the only thing is, is like I said, I still have to put this on, which this goes on the bottom, right? But see, there's a little seal there. This little seal, I'm going to go see if I can get a new one. I'm sure that's a seal. I haven't even checked yet, but I'm certain it is. Um, and that's what seals it so that it, it don't leak. So I'm going to go grab a new one of them and... Uh, a new one of these here seals, if I can. Um, or that's not even really a piece of seal. It's just a, I don't know. I'm going to go see if I can get one anyways, a new one. And uh, we'll see how it works out. So with that said, I'm going to head there, get that. We'll see you when I get back. All right, guys. So I didn't bother going and getting the stuff i uh used some of my gasket seal sealed her up uh, i fired her up there and checked her out i put roughly four liters in her um when she's down on the ground i will check her again but as far as i see you know i don't see any leaks so I think we're good. It's all back together. Uh, I had to, like I said, I had the car running. So I am glad that that is over with. Um, now I ordered the thing because one of the other things that is an issue is my headlights aren't inked. And if you know, um, Audi has, uh, um, what a self-adjusting headlights if that makes sense and sometimes when you change out um or something any like i don't know what could have caused it but something caused it and you have to uh you have to program the headlights again so i ordered the cord that plugs into my laptop the software is actually free for audi uh, surprisingly you know there's something that you get for free for audi uh, I mean, you spent enough on everything else. Why not just give them the software free, right? <laughs> oh, God. You know, I might find that. You might not find that funny, but I find it funny because if you honestly take how much money I put into this car, um, she's basically brand new. You know, besides it looking different colors, she's basically brand new car. So... Um, and I could have bought one for cheaper than what I got into this now. Um, but those tires, they did not say that there was anything wrong with them like the other place did. And I knew that. I, I knew there was nothing wrong with those tires, man. Try and lie to me. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is the dry shaft seal that's in there. I'm going to be getting that done. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I got to go pick up my son. It's early out for school. He finally... Um, He uh, he gets out early today, so we're gonna grab him. I'm trying to think of everything before I walk away from here. Um, try and show you. I'll try and show you here the new the, the other tires that I bought though. And like I said to the wife, 
we'll use the ones she's got on there for the winter and then we'll throw these ones on because these ones are like a mud and snow right kind of a spring tire and they'd be perfect hey eh? nice tires hey eh? they got a nice little grip and they got all the center caps which is good and the rim doesn't look bad or an naughty rim so i picked them up for 200 bucks too so there we go right you know she's got a set of winter tires and a set of summer tires on rims so um never noticed that but it's a nice little gouge out of it i mean that's not a big deal that's just where it was rubbing against something um just make sure that i put that one on the back anyways well guys it's minus 20 below out um and i'm not going back to work on the car today um so we got the oil pan done we got the fender done we got uh, some other stuff uh, the sensor done i ordered uh, uh obd obd uh code reader that plugs into my laptop i will be using that to adjust the headlights um in the next video and i got the transmission seal done uh, i did it off camera um because like i said it was cold and i just wanted to get it done and uh basically i got that done i got it somewhat bolted back up i never got it completely bolted back up but um that's gonna be a wrap for this video uh hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did please hit that like button and if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button we'll see you on the next